All right, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash, double honor city apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well, all right, who preach the 100% truth according to the Bible, and peace, love, and salutations to all you Akim that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the earth, because this is the real doctrine. Christianity is finished, all right, and the real truth is coming out. So it's imperative for you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you children of Israel and you Israelite foreigners to get this word before it's too late because 2024 is going to be a heavy year. So without further ado, I did this lesson called Reincarnation is in the Bible. You know, it got a lot of views, which I don't I don't get caught up on views because there's a lot of weirdos that come. And this is an example of a weirdo right here. So. This lesson is going to be titled, There's No Such Thing as Hell, all right? There's no such thing as some devil hitting you with a pitchfork and you burn forever. Hell is a condition. You know, Mob Deep made that song called Hell on Earth. That was a title of their album that they had back in, what, 98? So I'm going to read this and get some scriptures and Lord willing, you'll be edified. It says, <laughs> he, has, he has a nerve to say Shalom, brother. <laughs> so obviously he knows that he's a Hebrew Israelite, all right? Shalom, brother. I just wanted to say you are definitely misguided. No, you're misguided because you don't read. You don't have the understanding. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this right quick before I get into the meat of this lesson. Let's go to um, Revelation 3. I think it's 20. Revelation Three and verse 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. That's the whole message, to repent and come back to the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and his son, who you hear me call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. Verse 20, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. So the Lord is going to sup with you. All right. And the Lord has to choose you. A lot of you Israelites out here, you believe in hell. You probably still smoking weed. You got guys out here that's eating pork. So a lot of you guys are misguided. But when we come to correct you, you get all butt hurt. When we tell you the mysteries of the, of the scriptures, you going according to your plan. You going according to that plantation Christianity because you can't mix the both together. A lot of you Israelites, you, you say Shalom and Kwame Yashallah. But you still believe in plantation Christianity. So the Lord has to be dealing with you. And when you see these comments on the comment board, you obviously can see that these Jakes who say that they're Israelites, they don't have any understanding. So it says, Shalom, brother. I just wanted to say you are definitely misguided that in no way is what the scriptures mean. See, a lot of you guys go on the comment board. You need to start learning some, uh, uh, you know, proper you need to learn how to type first before you get on the com before you get on my comment board. Learn how to use uh, commas, periods. All right, learn how to form proper sentences, man. All right, learn how to speak when you type. I can't understand th this abonics. All right, it says I just wanted to say you're definitely misguided. That in no way is what the scriptures mean. How many times did Christ come back? What life? You know, and then we go into Matthew 1 and 1, all right? Yahweh Shah was Adam, okay? He was Isaac, and he was Solomon. That's what it is, man. And we've been doing countless lessons, all right, about reincarnation. It's biblical, man. If you can't get it, it ain't for you. It says, what is life to be judged? Come on, family. When the Most High said it is appointed unto man wants to die after this judgment, how many judgments will you get? When it's over, you keep coming back and you, you get your, I'm going to get into it. It says hell is real and you're definitely going to eventually see it if you stay this course. And I said, who is Christ, my man? So this guy believes that there's a hell. So I mean, he probably is listening to IUIC videos, man. So let's get to, let's get to the point. Let's go to Isaiah 8 and 20 first. Isaiah 8 and 20, because you people just run your mouth. It says, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. There's no light in this Jovan guy. He's not coming with scriptures. 
just coming out of his vain opinion, like the black woman does, just running your mouth. All right. So I'm going to get a couple precepts, man. Um, let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. And let's start at um, verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun, the place of judgment under the sun is right here on earth. The place of judgment. All right. It doesn't say that you go to hell. That wickedness was there. Is, it, is there not wickedness out here? And the places of righteousness, that iniquity was there. I said in my heart, the most high shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men that the most high might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts, even one thing befalleth them, as the one dieth, so dieth the, the other. Yea, for they have all one breath, so that a man have no preeminence above a beast for, for all his vanity. Now here's the point, verse 20. All go unto one place, and all, excuse me, all, are of the dust and all turn to dust. Dust you are, dust you are, dust you return. Doesn't say you go to hell. Who know if the spirit of a man that goeth upward? So when you die, your body decomposes and then your spirit goes upward to the Heavenly Father in the spirit world. You don't go to hell. What scripture are you reading, man? It says, I'll go into one place. All are of the dust and turn and all turn to dust again. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth. So, you know, they had that movie, all dogs go to heaven. They don't go to heaven, man. All right. So the point is, do you see, do you see anywhere in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter where it talks about, Hey, yeah, you're going to um <laughs> go to hell. You're going to go to hell. And the devil is hitting you with a pitchfork. No, man. All right. Let's get Revelation chapter 20, just real quick. <clears throat> Revelation 20 and verse 14. Last, one of the last books of the Bible. Revelation 20 and 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Now, the lake of fire represents those intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to be shot off very soon. We don't know the day or hour or the year, but we know according to these prophecies that World War III is going to happen and Babylon the Great being America is going to be destroyed. And we're going to need deliverance from what you call so-called UFOs, which are called chariots. All right? So how is death and hell cast into the lake of fire? How is hell cast into the lake of fire? There's no such thing as a... a, a you going, you burning forever, but you, you wicked people are going to burn. All right. Especially our people are going to burn in the lake of fire. When these missiles get shot off here, watch Terminator two. And that scene with Sarah Connor, man. All right. And then when you go to certain scriptures, man, let's get this one. Um, you see hell in the Bible. Um, there's one. Okay, let's let's get this one, man. And, and Jonah. Yeah. Let's go to Jonah. All right. Now, we all know, everybody knows the account of Jonah and how he was going to go preach, I believe, to Nineveh. And he fled to go to Tarshish, which is modern day Spain. Tells you that in the first chapter. All right. He was supposed to go to Nineveh, but he fled to Tarsus, which is modern day Spain. All right. He was casted off a ship. And we all know the story of being in the belly, the fish's belly. So this is Jonah 2 and uh, 1. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his, his power out of the fish's belly and said, I cry by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. So you, you mean to tell me when Jonah was swallowed by the fish 
that he was in hell with a devil hitting with a pitchfork. That don't make sense, man. He was catching hell. Okay, we 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 phrase that term catching hell. All right, he was a, in a period of affliction, and when you go to the uh, you go to the Strong's de uh, uh, definition, look it up. That's what you people need to start doing: looking up words instead of getting on the comment board and running your mouth. That Hebrew word hell is sha'awa, which means grave. All right. So that's basically it on that, man. There's no such thing as hell. All right. You believe it in all these old fables, man. Um, let's get this last one. Second Peter 1 and 16. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. Now, fables goes into the word falsehood. That hell doctrine of you burning forever. That's a that's a falsehood. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. All right, and the Lord is coming back with fire through those chariots. All right. That's gonna be that burning, not you uh going down there with little Nikki. <laughs> you know, Adam Sandler made that movie. You're not going down there with uh little Nikki. To get hit by a pitch for it, man. All right. So, hey, this guy right here, man, Joe Van Stort, 6441. You got to do a lot of studying, my man, because you ain't got it. All right. So, Lord willing, hey, that was edifying, man. Because, hey, you scoffers, man, it's making it easier for us to teach and, and edify the elect, man. So, with that, I want to say shalom.